Hey Nim Tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. I've got with me today a Packard Bell. It's an old laptop from a client. It's got Windows 7 allegedly inside. So what's happened to it? This is getting some uh, tape here. The LCD screen looks damaged, cracked inside. Left front top uh, rest is coming off the bezel. Um, there's a hole at the bottom which was dropped a few times by kids apparently. Yeah, right. Um, so bit of screws loose inside as you can see um, there is kind of inky damage evidence and uh, right now it's turning on which is surprising and also there's some noise coming from the DVD drive I heard some clicks from the hard disk which means it could be damaged as well so what we're gonna do today my job is twofold first I need to try and retrieve his pictures from the hard disk if it's not beyond repair if it's still physically accessible and I'm going to show you that in a second video but right now the first job I'm going to do is to assess this laptop whether it's worth repairing or not and the first assessment to be done is is this LCD does it need repairing clearly it needs replacing but is the motherboard still booting so we can test this. How do we do this? By plugging in one of the video cable. In this case, I'm gonna choose the HDMI to this monitor. There's also a VGA cable here, a VGA port, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's reboot this laptop to see. Oh, there you go, it's booted up. And it's telling me no bootable, no bootable device, insert boot disk and press any key. Now, the good news is, at least I know that the motherboard still is trying to boot. So the motherboard may not be damaged, it's only the LCD screen. So at this point, you may start considering replacing this. However, we can't boot in right now. That could mean one of three things. Number one, the connection from the hard disk to the port on the motherboard is either loose or damaged. And I need to physically check that. Two, it could mean that the actual disk itself, the hard disk, is damaged and it's not being recognized and you can't boot into it. Or three, it could mean that the order of the boot order has been changed and it's not booting in the right disk and that you need to go into BIOS to figure out. Uh, could it mean something to do with wrong uh, OS on there? It could also mean that as well, probably a fourth one, but we'll see. What would be my next step? I'm gonna plug in a live Linux USB key in one of the USB ports. This particular version is Lubuntu. You could use any Linux versions. They don't all work for every single laptop and PC. So I suggest you get yourself a few different versions or flavors. I've got Ubuntu, Lubuntu, uh, Puppy Linux and Linux Mint. And uh, sometimes some work better on others. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reboot this. And then we'll try to log into BIOS by pressing F2 on this particular model. And that's one of the first things I like to do, even before I start to boot into the main OS, is to check some configurations. So what we can, so again, good news. If you can log into BIOS, it's, it's, it's still good news, which means the motherboard possibly is still intact, okay? Right, so we've got an Intel Celeron CPU B815 at 1.60 gigahertz. That's just good for general browsing. Then again, maybe not even for HD videos, I don't know. And we've got RAM of four gigabyte video memory of 128 megabyte. We'll have to see how it performs, but already I can start to see a trend here. And the pattern is at this point, uh, with, with this kind of damage and with this, the features of this laptop, I would not really advise anyone to get this repaired unless you're doing it yourself. You have sentimental value attached to it, etc. But let's move on. So I'm gonna change the boot order, go to boot. Um, I already did kind of select generic flash disk, which is my USB. But if that doesn't work for here, you need to select F5 or F6 to move up or down. And you have to select the right order. You could also boot and try to go into the boot order menu if it has one. Different laptops and desktops will be different. On this one, probably something like maybe F10 or F8 or even F12, but we don't need to do this. So I'm gonna exit and save. And hopefully that should boot into this Linux uh, CD. I'm gonna sit down because I've been on the knees. Right, okay, so we've got pack up bell, and uh, there you go, unit booting, a uh, few options, I'm gonna select try Lubuntu without installing, pressing enter. I love using these Linux um, USB drives for testing a lot of hardware, and I think guys, I would advise every single person, whether you like Linux or not, 
it's a great way it's a great little tool because it's a full system on it's a full operating system on one disk which you can carry with you and if you have a problem with a hard disk not booting you can quickly access the internet or even access your hard disk using this little bad boy quite handy okay now right so we got this screen which is half good news because at least it's telling me still motherboard can still be intact we've got a documents folder up here let's see if we can access the hard drive by oh, tapping the documents unfortunately it doesn't look like there's any access to the hard disk in there so at this point what does this tell me it tells me two things one potentially we can still save this motherboard and uh, we can potentially still try and replace the LCD right but I have not been able to establish yet whether the um, motherboard is completely functional or whether there are loose cables inside which I need to physically open to find out but the other thing I would, I would want to try and do is take out the hard disk first and get the pictures out which I'm going to show you in the next video so there you go guys this is a testimony of how you can test for a LCD laptop or desktop even actually not desktop LCD laptop which is not showing display and you can determine whether it's just a question of changing the LCD or there's a problem with motherboard and I think I covered this in my video up here or I'm going to link it below of how to troubleshoot a laptop with no uh, display showing black screen something like that I'm going to link it to you so check out that video for a full assessment tip and this is a practical one so um, next video we're going to retrieve the pictures if possible I'll show you how to do this and we're probably going to use one of two ways either using the Linux the Linux USB drive or I'm going to plug this disk into a different computer again I did show in a different video um, but we'll do it more practically this time so thank you for watching it's great I'm getting a lot of uh, new questions from you guys about this series which I'm going to continue showing you and thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my vids thank you for all the comments this is encouraging me to keep doing this further and I am investing in a bit of equipment to make my videos more professional hopefully I know I've got a long learning curve remember to like this vid comment and share and dislike if you want to dislike this and remember to subscribe until next time peace out